welcome back. The next thing you want to do after making the train heights is paint some textures on the ground. Uh, so the, an old way of doing that would be to just grab the terrain texture and start painting uh, like so. Uh, now that, as you can see, is going to require a, an artist touch to make it look much nicer. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is grab a height map, uh, just like we did with the terrain, uh, except this height map is going to describe all the lowland areas. So as you can see, the white areas now represent the areas that are the valleys and the, the, the lower areas of the terrain. And I'll grab my texture and I'll import that texture over the entire space. So World Editor will go on in the background and just paint all those lower areas and there you can see it's all done except for the peaks of the mountains which is the areas that we didn't want painted. Uh, right so the next step is to grab a, uh, a rock texture that we're going to paint on the mountains and again as you can see painting it like this is a very slow tedious way of doing it if you want it to make it look right. Uh, so what I'm going to do is again import a height map except this map describes the areas that are of a certain gradient um, there you can see in the lowland areas it's dark there's there's uh, no cliffs around there so we'll import that rock texture and take a look at the result and there you can see all the mountains and cliffs have been painted for us automatically